Good morning, everybody. I hope you've had an amazing week. Let's see what's ahead of us in Shoreline Church. The living room is a great place for young adults. We asked Joanna to tell us her experience of the living room. Hello, everybody. I would like to share with you guys some of the reasons why I go to the living room. The living room gives me a chance to hang out with young adults that come to our church or are not. It's a perfect place to discuss your Christian beliefs and also to invite your friends who are not Christians. And also another great thing, which everybody enjoys, is free food on a Thursday evening. Who would not be happy with that? I encourage you all to come there. You'll not regret it. We are meeting every other Thursday at Alex and Sarah's house at 7.30 p.m. The next living room will be on the 20th of November. Cup Meal of Hope will be here next Friday. Let's see a final powerful story of somebody that Christians Against Poverty have helped. One day I had to go and beg for a potato from one of my neighbors. I was so ashamed. When my mum had passed away, I didn't know anything about running households or paying bills. I have severe dyslexia and couldn't understand the numbers and letters. Oh, it's been amazing since I got in touch with Kat. Andrea came out to the house and did a, a short interview with me. The service was just so amazing and very personal as well. The first day I went to church was absolutely amazing. I went as a thank you to Andrea really and I hated God at the time, had no interest in him. But it was almost like coming home when I walked through the doors. They um, started praying for me at church. I started to get sensation and movement back in my legs. And I can now lift my legs and bend them. The um, doctors have all been totally baffled by it. But I know that it's God's plan. It's God that has done this for me so that I can inspire other people with my story. One day can transform someone's life and eternity. Every working day, Christians Against Poverty reach 20 families. But we've got a vision to treble that to 60. But we can't do that without your support. Will you today do what you can do to support CAP by becoming a regular financial supporter, a life changer? And together, let's go and make today count and change thousands of people's lives. If you didn't pick up the leaflet, do it now. Fill it in and invite your parents, family, friends and work colleagues because it's going to be a fantastic time that you don't want to miss. See you there. Food Bank needs you. During the Shoreline Christmas week, from Monday the 15th to Thursday the 18th of December, Food Bank will be collecting food at Morrison's. Each day throughout the week, there are two available time slots, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., where you can help. For this to be a great success, we will need a total of 24 people throughout the week. You'll be doing things such as handing out leaflets and talking to people about Food Bank. If you would like to help and want more information, please see Julie Woods or the info point after the service. We would love to see you volunteer. 50 plus small group will be meeting this week on Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. If you are 50 or over, you are more than welcome. See you there. The next baptism service is the 7th of December. The next dedication service is the 30th of November. That's all today from Shoreline News. For more information, go to the info point after the service. See you next week.